and welcome to Wise Media's 6th EMEA Summit in Abu Dhabi. I'm delighted to welcome Mr. Stephen Martinez, who's the Executive Assistant Director uh, of the Science and Technology Branch at the FBI, uh, an institution that since over 100 years has been a leading light in law enforcement. Uh, Mr. Martinez has just spoken at our summit and has addressed us with very, a very interesting outlook of the different technologies that are being uh, developed, used and leveraged on at the FBI. Could you kindly um, bring us some key messages also for, the, uh, for our audience that sure. is not with us today here? In I'd be happy to and uh, it's a pleasure to be here. This is uh, quite a gathering of experts in the field of identity and all the aspects, different aspects that our governments and some of our private sector partners are dealing with when it comes to identity. And in my, my remarks, I mentioned that it's uh, really what's at stake for us is the legitimacy of our government organizations, our private sector organizations, and really the safety and security of our citizens. So uh, I talked a little bit about uh, some of the initiatives that the FBI has going on in the way of identity intelligence and uh, some of the traditional work that we've done and some of the new innovations that are going to make things more efficient for us as well. How do you see the future um, five years from now, ten years from now, with this growth in numbers describing urbanization and unfortunately also growth of numbers describing crime in urban aggregates. How can the FBI give recommendations to other law enforcement authorities that are uh, across the world trying to address the issue of urban security? Well, we do have a long history, not just in general law enforcement issues, but in particular identification services, and that's part of my branch uh, manages those. Uh, the databases, the policy that goes behind what we collect uh, and how we use that information. I think uh, a challenge for us all is protecting private information, but also providing a service that the, where the government can run more efficiently. Uh, so there's a lot that has to be done in the policy and we're, we're pretty good now at bringing new technologies on, but it's always the legal and policy issues that tend to be the more difficult part. So I think technology is going to be a great enabler and uh, give us a lot of opportunities for efficiencies, but we really do need to be mindful of how these new technologies impact on personal privacy and uh, that's a balance that we always have to strike between that efficiency and the implications for personal privacy. So do you collaborate also with other government organizations to uh, pursue these objectives of uh, balancing security and privacy? Yes, absolutely. So on one level, we all have to have a pretty good idea of what we do in the way of collecting, uh, identifying information. And then also we have databases that we need to find ways to share. Uh, there are, it's a global world and uh, many of our adversaries move very, very freely. Uh, and they are encountering at each border uh, some type of collection now of biometrics or other identifying information, biographical at a minimum. So we have to have a good understanding of what each other is doing and what the policies are that come uh, uh, to govern our information sharing and that type of thing. And so that has to be done one country to one country. It's a somewhat tedious process of really engaging and knowing what we're all doing in this space. Well, thank you so much for being with us and for helping us develop a common vision for this community. Thank you very much, Mr. Martinez. My Enjoy pleasure. The, the